So, you want to make games, but you also don't want to break the bank with tons of subscriptions to expensive softwares and pricey assets? Well, I've compiled a great list of free tools that can definitely help you. Coming up next. To start out with, let's talk about some of the best free software for game dev. GIMP is basically a free version of Photoshop, with many features that you can usually find in paid programs, as long as you ignore the, frankly, creepy logo. Pixel Art is a great browser-based pixel art editor that includes dithering and frame-by-frame -frame animation. If you become serious about pixel art though, I recommend you drop the 20 bucks for A-Sprite, because it's the industry standard and thus much easier to use, and it doesn't have any ads. Another great resource for making tile-based games is Tiled. It makes up for a slightly dated user interface by being a jack-of-all-trades 2D level editor. It allows you to specify collision areas, which I for one know is very hard to do in Unity. It works for all game engines that have tile map capabilities. All you have to do is export the .tmx file and interpret it in your engine of choice. For a handy dandy drawing program, I recommend Krita, with an extensive library of built-in brushes and filters. It also includes layer masking and is very dependable for pressure sensitivity. Last but not least in the art section is Blender. Blender is the famous and free 3D modeling program with almost too much functionality. They've made their UI a little more user friendly in the last update, but the main downfall is the pretty steep learning curve. I recommend the Andrew Price Donut tutorial to start your Blender journey. Assets are a great way to take some of the pressure off your shoulders, but can also turn out to be one of the most expensive parts of making your game. Here's some great places to get free assets that might cut some off the bill. To start off, the free section of the Unity and Unreal asset stores are a great place to find cool art, sound, visual effects, and more. Also, usually they have pretty big discounts for some great plugins and assets as well. A fun source of 2D art and 3D models for testing out ideas and even for commercial projects is the Kenny Game Asset Library. Everything is organized in sets to make it super easy to implement in your own projects, and they even host cool game jams where you're limited to a certain asset pack. I would definitely recommend checking them out. Lots of people love to use itch.io to purchase games and enter game jams, but did you know as well that there's a very large library of assets and tools? including an ample portion of freebies as well. Some highlights include the Voxel Town Desert Pack by Max Parada, Mochi's Plains Tile Set, and the Interface SFX Pack 1 by Obsidian X. Last but not least, Game Dev Market is a favorite of many game developers to find assets. Whatever type of game you want to create, there's an asset on Game Dev Market for it. Obviously, there's free selections for everything. A cool feature is that they have greatly discount asset packs or creator bundles that can make it easier to get everything you need for cheap. You can have all the assets you want, but unless you know how to use your game engine, you won't get anywhere in game development. Luckily, us YouTubers have made some amazingly free and comprehensive courses for your engine of choice. Naturally, let's start with Unity. For learning Unity, I recommend checking out the Brackies channel. If you haven't heard of the Brackies channel, you need to get over there, literally right now. He may have stopped updating the channel, but what is there is 450 plus videos that each teach you how to do something new, with tutorials that range from scripting to VFX. Just don't fall down the tutorial rabbit hole, make sure to make your own projects too. If you're an Unreal game developer, you should go look at the courses created by DevSquad. They've got courses for making full games in Unreal, some for the complete beginner. One course in particular teaches you to make games with blueprints, Unreal's visual scripting interface. I always wanted to learn how to use blueprints. Godot is an engine that has just recently started to gain popularity. But don't worry, GDQuest on YouTube has got you covered with a few courses that could help you get started in Godot. For me, I've always wanted to learn how to code shaders, and GDQuest has an intro course in shaders in Godot. That's really interesting. The last of the main game engines, sorry if I left any out, Construct, is a visual scripting game engine. It's a paid engine, but if you already have it, a great way to learn how to use it for free is Vimlark's Construct 3 Rock Smasher tutorial. Vimlark has created a powerful course on how to make a gaming construct. 
covers all the things you need to know to start making your own games. Anyways, I'm Crafty Kawaboom, and this was some great free resources for game developers. The links to all the assets I mentioned are in the description down below. Wait, 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 wait. While you're there, if you like this video, it'd be great if you could click that like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you know when I make another one. And like always, don't forget to stay crafty.